Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another reaction video for today and I'm here to take a look at the next-gen graphics tech demo that was shown off at the State of Unreal 2023 little stream press conference thing they did uh, for Unreal Engine 5.2 um, which is always fun to watch. Now this is on IGN, I couldn't find anywhere else besides on the live stream that they were doing right now so it's probably not going to be the best quality but I thought it would still be fun to watch it. I'm assuming this is coming straight from... Uh, IGN, I mean, uh, from the Unreal stream, too, so it's probably gonna be the same quality that stream was, uh, which, uh, I watched a little bit of it, um, was it during the Senuo, uh, reaction? I watched it during some, re was it the Dead Island, it might have been the Dead Island one, anyway, uh, I did a Dead Island 2 video today, I don't know when that'll be up, but, uh, I watched, like, a little bit of, like, the Lords of the Fallen, they were showing that off, I was like, what the hell is this, Bloodborne? Because <laughs> it, it had a Bloodborne look to it, and it was like, oh, it's Lords of the Fallen, I guess that's... That's why I thought that. Anyway, so uh, let's get to it. Three, two, one, and play. All right, so last year, All right. we added several oh, yeah, yeah. features to the engine uh, uh. to support foliage rendering. Oh, didn't they show something that looked like this? features to shift Battle Royale Chapter 4. At the same time, Jacob over there yeah. and the team at Quixel yeah. were experimenting with what's possible they had, like, for a foliage really starting the jungle. as well as testing Fair out enough. the latest functionality that we've this been building really good. for Unreal Engine. Looks really good. So, Jacob's here with us today. Dude, imagine... Unreal editor. Let's explore the environment. Yo, Crisis 4. And what better way to do that than off-roading? That's, that's gonna use the cry And what better way to off-road uh, than an Arivian R1T? Oh, hell yeah. Now, Rivian Car. uses Unreal to power their <laughs> instrument cluster, including 3D visualization of their vehicles. Wow. So we work with them to they bring the R1T to life thing, in this experience. Let's head on out, Jacob. Sure thing it's, on my way. It's dolls. All right. <laughs> Wheels so, fall off. We're building tools for interactive and dynamic worlds. So here we have chaos physics simulating wow. rocks that tumble as we drive over. Dude, them. Uncharted 5 we with these graphics. Out of the way. And we also added some real time fluid simulation. Whoa, look at that water! We worked with the wow, team I even made a noise. to set up Unreal's under. chaos vehicle model Jesus. to simulate the suspension of the chaos. truck and how the electric motors drive each individual wheel. Do you Final Fantasy 15 with these graphics? Ride the right with the boys in the jungle. And meta sounds enabled the team to precisely resynthesize the sounds of the electric motors and mix them with the ambisonics of the jungle. So Rivian provided us with a highly detailed model of the truck, okay, shit. about 71 million polygons that were able to render in real time thanks to Nanite. Now the Rivian not only looks incredibly realistic because of Lumen and Nanite, but also its materials. And today we're introducing Substrate, our new material framework. Woo! 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 Let's go! <laughs> and to better demonstrate it, let's swap the paint out for opal. Oh fuck! Oh now, shit! Well, you can't order oh. a Rivian with opal body I panels. I thought you were excited. Yo, it looks like the space. Code name for this project, and also a really great demonstration of Substrate's capabilities. The base layer models the iridescence, dirt on that shit. refraction, and reflections that occur inside Scratchy of Scratchy looking dirt. And on top of that is a layer representing the polished surface <clears throat> and how light is absorbed as it travels through that clear layer of varying depth. Wow. And now we can add back on the dust and dirt layers. And Ew. notice how the reflection changes when interacting with the dust layer and that there are no artifacts along the transition from dirt to dust to opal. So Substrate is more expressive, enabling artists to create yeah, but materials how about like a, this with different shading models and compose and layer those materials as they see fit. All right, let's uh, head on out, Jacob. On my way. Right. In on terms of performance, word. Substrate materials that are similar to the current Unreal Engine shading model cost about the same. But now, artists have the freedom to author more complex materials for extremely detailed use cases, this looks too good. like in cinematics and in film. This looks better than movies. So we're going to drive under this fallen tree This jungle here, looks better than the Jumanji and everything movies. everything that you've seen up to this point was painstakingly hand-built. I, I don't know why that was Quixel. the first one to pop in my brain. Everything but. since that fallen tree has been built using our brand new experimental suite of procedural content generation tools. Entirely an engine what? that are flexible, deterministic, and artist-driven. This is... Our guiding principle in building these systems was to empower artists to make tools for artists. So Jacob's going to go ahead and add a procedural assembly to the world. Okay. And the cool thing is that... That just made that. Thank you. All right. Yeah. What did he say? What did that guy say? Uh, 
Wow, we're already four minutes in this shit. Did it communicate? God damn, he said. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. uh, no big deal. Just made a. They, they just made, just procedurally generated this fucking thing right here, right? Is that what he just said? These are gonna be. This isn't built ahead of time. This is just like the computer's like, no, let's make a fucking thing and two logs. Fuck it. And the cool thing is that it communicates with other nearby procedural. Elements. Yeah, so it makes See, the logs. Like so. the creek bed. So let's say a designer comes by, wants to direct the player to drive to the left. Jacob can simply move the assembly to the right. Yeah, it makes a long ass. What? Change. Jesus. Game design is iterative. So let's say the designer comes back, wants to give the player the choice of going left or right again. Jacob can simply move the assembly back over. And it just yeah, makes. Now sense. the artist who created this assembly also added some additional handles okay. that Jacob can use to art direct where rock slides occur. Okay, all right. Well, so to customize this was made, but more, it's just like procedurally generating whatever he moves. All right. Hold on. So we started Maybe by not. hand crafting that original part of the level to set right, the okay. visuals and art direction for the entire piece, and then built out procedural tools that allowed the team to create a much larger play space much more quickly. Now let's see how we can use these procedural tools to make larger sweeping changes to the environment. So Jacob, let's... Will we ever have a game that looks this good? I, I, I legitimately don't ever believe we will. Like, I, every time they do this, we never get anything that looks this good. Start by removing some of the trees. I feel like we don't. And if we do, it's always, like, right at the end of a generation and leading to All the right. next one, and then they show this, and then by the time we get this, they show another thing that's way better. You know what I mean? I mean, I get it. It's new, so... Developers will have to start working with it soon, but uh, a little too much. Let's let's add Whatever. some trees back in. Okay, and let's also add in some cliff formations. Give it a little bit. Who's had a giant, giant, so the procedural system giant like Lady Demetres? Can we just add that real quick? Input parameters. Once he finds a set that he likes, he can always go back to it and get out exactly the same result. Can we do that for me. I mean, and the for procedural the systems fans? aren't just placing trees and rocks but also fog cards, bugs, birds, everything that's needed to bring this environment to life. And everything that you've seen here works at scale. This environment is four kilometers by four kilometers. Jesus. If we hide all of the procedural elements, we can You're... see that original hand-built area. <laughs> Are you kidding? That's the meters. only... Th so it's, it's going to really help with just creating surrounding areas. That's really what it's going to... This is what they created. Everything else is bullshit, but it's just there for... You know, far away shots, and when you're looking out, maybe if you're on a high part, maybe that high part you can kind of see over some of the trees. That's we insane. We believe that there will always be the need for hand building environments, so we design these procedural systems to be tools for artists that work in concert with hand built content. Both Substrate and the new yeah. procedural tools will be available in experimental form in 5.2. That's fucking crazy. And everything you've seen here is running in the Unreal Editor you're in insane. real time. On a developer Somebody get this guy. with an Intel 13900 he needs, he needs help. and NVIDIA RTX 4090 GPU. I don't so, Jacob, thanks for being here and helping us out today. I'm not Thank you very much, Nick, for having me. It's been a pleasure. Bye, Jacob. Wait, that was the name, right? Jacob, thanks yeah, for being here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> thanks, Fred. I'm like, that's not my name. Okay, bye. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Uh, that was pretty good. But uh, this is a thing. Like, when are we going to see this? I feel like we never get this stuff. We do eventually. We just never do until it's the next thing's already being hyped up. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Because it, that, that's insane. I mean, I, I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll never know exactly. Because we're not going to be able to tell what's procedurally generated and what's not. But, like, look how good that looked. Even in 1080p, I could tell how fucking good that looked. Anyway, there you go. that's it. Uh, I, have, I have a couple more uh, Unreal Engine stuff to watch. So look forward to that. What was that?